Welcome to a, another SEO content machine tutorial video. Today I'm going to cover the usage of the Scrape Web Pages tool, which has been added quite recently. You will find a new tool here on the left hand side, Scrape Web Pages. You'll click on this button, New Web Scraper, to get started. I have prepared a task for this example today. The website I'm going to work with is nitrotech.co.uk, which is a simple online web shop and my goal is to scrape the title price and description from the page so I'm going to scroll down and introduce you the UI elements first of all we have the web browser window we have a pick element button then we have the macro code area and finally you have various settings such as your job name the list of URLs you wish to scrape and finally save location file name string and an option here if you want to combine all the written articles into one file so going back up to the web browser window firstly I want to select the title of the product so I'm going to click on pick element and as you can see when I hover over items on the page you get this gray background so when I click on this title and I scroll down a little bit it adds a new item to my element list so the first item that you see is called the macro name the second one is the actual CSS selector and then finally you have the option of selecting what kind of content you want by default it's your inner text you can also select and outer HTML and finally we have a get attribute so if I'm scraping links I can just return the href I'm gonna go back to inner text because that gives me the title of the product I'm gonna scroll a little bit back up again click on pick element and here's the price I'm gonna click on that and here you go and then finally just a very short description so this box here I'm gonna click on that and it all looks good I'm going to keep scrolling down to the macro code area so I'm going to delete what I did before so the first thing is I want the product name and then the price and then the description now this is just a plain text article preview obviously I'm allowed to type in HTML code if I want I could also use spin tax code if I want and I could customize exactly how the content looks in the final output so scrolling down I want to paste in all the URLs I wish to scrape you have two ways of doing it one way is you could actually go through here and browse and click on products another way is to use the find URL tool and that means using search operators such as site or in URL and I will give you a list of URLs for a particular site for a particular keyword so you got a couple options there once all my settings are correct I hit the run button and when I click on the task name here it brings up this task log and inside the task log I can see the exact status and how each item is being processed now that the web scraper tool has finished I can look at the log and I notice a couple of things firstly it says warning my macro product price returned nothing that means when it went to this page it couldn't find this particular piece of content same again for this electric scooter page for the example page we started off with which is the RC plane it did find the price now if I opened this actual page that was saved to my hard drive So here you can see the actual written file on my hard drive. You notice that the price is indeed missing and that's not what we want. So how do we fix something like this? Well, we can go back to our web scraper and we can investigate why. For the product price, it's selecting using an ID selector, which is notated by this hash. And as you can see, it says 11477. So what this indicates to me is that this 
particular selector is unique to the product and not to the page itself which means that when I switch to a different product obviously the ID code is going to be different that's why we had that error in the log where I couldn't find a price and it's because of this selector if I scroll down there's a button here that says parent so I can try clicking on this and it's going to select one element above this element so I'm going to click on parent notice that now we have a different selector if I look at it carefully it seems like it's not referring to anything specific to that product anymore I can click on outer HTML have a closer look at the HTML to see what's found so as you can see originally it was picking up on this ID which was obviously unique to this product but now we're selecting on one step higher so now that we're selecting one step higher we should have no problems picking price from other products I'm going to switch that back to inner text then while we're here there is a filter button as well and if I click on that it brings up a filter box and in this I'm able to select to keep lines of a certain length I can also choose to remove lines that refer to a word or keep lines that only use a certain word and obviously I have a regex replace words tool as well so this comes most useful when I'm selecting lots of content on the page at the moment I'm only selecting one line content so to give you an example there's a big description box by click on pick element and hover over and click and scroll down and see the result and then go to get outer and I'm just going to delete the code and then find product description okay so I have a bunch of content being returned here but if I hit parent and go inner text and the macro code has been updated for me so I need to select that again now we've returned what looks like a lot of extra content on the page now you see there's lines there for example this only has three characters in it something I don't really want so I want to remove these lines and only keep the lines which have a lot more content in it so going back to the filter box here if I go to keep lines bigger than let's say 25 click on save now when I go back to the description macro area you notice that it's removed all the small little titles that I don't need and it's only returned me content so when I run this task again you notice that the warnings have disappeared and that's because I'm using a different selector for the price if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask in the comment section in the video area below or you can always send me an email info at seocontentmachine.com